Hey, everybody, look. Waiting on a few more people to come in. So I'm just going to start. I'm going to go down the Zodiac, right? I'm going to start with Aries. But um, is this is this Mercury retrograde messing with y'all too like it's doing me? Because Lord have mercy. I tell you. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Look, this Mercury retrograde. Y'all, my microwave don't fucking went out. <laughs> Somebody don't hit my car while it was parked on the driver's side. Lord have mercy. Listen, Lynette, you did this Mercury retrograde. Boy. People from the past coming back around and stuff, past situations. Like, darn, think about if you could think about last year around this time, what would you doing? People never know. I got you, Taurus. What I'm doing, I'm, I'm going in a lot. I'm going down the zodiac signs. I was just waiting on a few more people to come in, but we could start. So I'm starting with Aries and I'm going to end with Pisces. So, my Aries, what is this Mercury retrograde doing to y'all? Because, woo, some of my Aries, y'all light workers. And some of y'all probably still are not answering to your divine calling. Look, you on time, cousin. <laughs> my Aries, my Aries, my Aries. My Aries, some of y'all thinking about trying to solidify this foundation that y'all thinking about starting. But sometimes you can be a little trapped in fear. Why? Let's see. Some of y'all waking up. Some of y'all waking up. Some of y'all just had to withdraw from the world for a little bit and try to get things together. And it's like some of y'all may be battling things. It could be something with career and then also dealing with power struggles within like relationship or within your career or family. I'm just saying, pay attention to your signs because you're getting them. Y'all getting them signs, my Aries. Y'all are getting them divine signs. So that's what's going on with y'all with this Mercury retrograde. It's bringing something back. Y'all, it's something out with a relationship with y'all. Let me see. With relate, it's a relationship. Y'all got something with a relationship that's going on. On top of that, y'all could be dealing with something with a business. But I'm gonna tell you what this look look. Y'all got a. Everybody got a phase that's going on. It's gonna last all the way until like around November. So my Aries again. This shadow of addition is. <laughs> People who support you financially. What I just said, goddamn John or something. I know it. I'm just saying, my Aries, let's see how this goes. So here we go, my Aries. My Aries, you guys are seeing the truth for what it is. You getting the truth. And it's like some of y'all don't got that little reju rejuvenation. See that Mercury? You can't talk with Mercury either. It tongue tie you and all. Damn, Aries, y'all ain't playing. Y'all showed up and y'all reading off real. Y'all the first card. So y'all got a brand new start. That means y'all don't completed the whole entire cycle. And now things gonna it's about to begin all, all okay. Well shoot. Y'all see that. So my Aries, some of y'all probably took a leap of faith towards this, um, towards something that's dealing with like some type of um Whatever your endeavor may be, maybe y'all took a leap of faith towards a career and now y'all stuck because y'all wondering if y'all made the wrong choice or not because it's like you're more conflicted in your mind than anything. I don't know if it came to an ending or what, but one thing about it, my Aries, is that something came to an ending. Now, whenever anything comes to an ending, it's always for a brand new beginning. So if you started out and you took a leap of faith and whatever you went towards, if that ended... That's just what it means. But y'all don't woke up now. You seeing things for what it is. You seeing things for what it is. Stop ignoring it. Now, it's like this. It's like any, mini, mighty, mo. I'm just saying. It's any, mini, mighty, mo. With y'all. My Aries, some of y'all have a lot of ideas, a lot of plans on what y'all plan on doing. Some of y'all might be pregnant too. I'm just saying. That's what the cards say. But when I tell y'all, when it comes back down to like feeling who you are again and loving yourself again, y'all on point and y'all on top of that, my Aries. But it's something y'all got to cut out. Something y'all got to cut out. And it may be uh, the way you think. It may be the way you think, my Aries. How you doing? I miss you too. <laughs> Well, my Aries, that may be what it is. Some of y'all got to cut out the way y'all think. Because y'all can run somebody away with, with your thoughts. You know what I mean? Because, you know, so you can be so used to being damaged and hurt by one person. Then, like, somebody new come around. You know how that go. You're going to automatically think they doing it. No, you got to get everybody a chance, my Aries. So, that's my Aries. Here we go, my Tauruses. Again, if you just tuning in, this Mercury Retrograde is uh, MF. 
Mercury retrograde, it interferes with anything dealing with communication. It's going to mess with small electrical appliances. You probably get in an argument with your neighbors or your siblings. Um, you probably have a little fender bender. Like, my microwave don't win. I ask somebody don't hit my damn car in the parking lot. Like, God damn, is it a magnet for? I'm just saying. People from your past going to come back around. If you can remember last year around this time, my Taurus is the universe talking to y'all too. If you can remember last year around this time, it's something. It's it's, it's something. Mercury retrogrades bring back things. Ooh, uh-oh, somebody message. Mercury retrogrades bring back things that you overlooked that you didn't handle the way you're supposed to handle it. So let's see. My Taurus is. Y'all, again, we are in this, what they call, like, the shadow of addiction. It's something that y'all probably won't understand. It's a deeper form of astrology. And it's, like, what it deals with, basically, it's, like, oh, can I say neurons? Neurological? It's a different form of astrology. But, basically, what it means, like, you in the shadow of addiction. This is going to last until, like, October. Like, November. Like, October, November is going to last up and up. It's... Something that you got let go. Something that got to end so something new can begin. It's either resolve it, fix it, or create something new, let it go. My Taurus is y'all are aware of what it is y'all need to do. This is the main thing with y'all. Y'all aware. Y'all want to play a number? Play three two, three two seven eight. Play three two seven eight. Y'all want to play a number or three two three two. My Taurus, this is all about the waiting game, right? And it's like y'all don't went through so much heartache so much heartache so much loss some of y'all probably even lost somebody that was close to y'all that y'all had a relationship with and it's like it's the waiting game because you like i'm putting in the work so when it's gonna happen you got a wish coming to you but you also gonna have tests coming at you too Taurus is what y'all addiction is beautiful and addictive people temptation like i said just say temptation is like you you could be hoping for the best and thinking like no okay because y'all some of y'all may be looking for that partnership and a lot of people don't even know how y'all really feeling on the inside some of y'all really suffering really bad on the inside and it's not coming out on the outside and it keeps you conflicting in your mind but you know what you need to do to have what you want right now oh my nose itch i don't know who this for Right now, it ain't good to start nothing new, but you will start receiving your recognition that you are so over overdue for my Tauruses. Some of y'all got to learn. Y'all have to let people go. Y'all, some of y'all to stop y'all dreams just because they accommodate other people. Stop. Y'all intuition on went off. Y'all aware. Y'all intuition going off. So, I mean, just saying y'all aware my Tauruses. So, what is it? Yeah. Some of y'all, it could be something dealing with your family. You wish you could just... Y'all manifesting something. Y'all know what y'all need to do. But it's like y'all hesitant about it. So let's see. Damn, y'all got cards. Y'all first card is options. Y'all got options. We all do. But I'm saying y'all got options. Y'all got choices right now. Y'all don't know what y'all want to do. I don't know if some of y'all dealing with a Virgo. Or maybe this can be y'all. Y'all really haven't been saying too much. Y'all know y'all got options, but y'all been keeping it to yourself. And it look like some of y'all been doing a little shadow work. That's good. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Y'all could have been looking in. Y'all could have been looking in, like, really paying attention to somebody else. Or, uh, like, trying to see what this is really going to be about. Y'all could have been doing that. Let me see. Let me put this. Oh, yeah, y'all been paying attention to somebody that ain't know y'all paying attention to their asses. And whoever this person is, they always got something to say. They bite back. You can't even get nothing out your mouth. They bite back. And y'all probably thought that this was going to be something firm, solidified. Like, this maybe even be somebody dealing with their family. Or it's some type of family situation or, um, you know, arrangement. But you got to make a choice. It's something you got to cut out. Because sometimes you have to step away. You got to step out of the norm to get where you're trying to get to. You conflict it in your mind, true enough. Because it's like you know what you want to do, but you don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I get that. I get that. Every time you get mad, you want to take this leap of faith, somebody always come back around. But they come back around, they always end up turning back to the same old shit. shit. This Mercury retrograde saying like, okay, every time they come back around, it's always going to be the same thing. How many times you going to keep repeating it? Let it go. You can let people go without beefing with them or nothing like that. Let that shit go. It ain't worth holding on to because at the same time, y'all tired. 
Y'all tired, y'all conflicting y'all mind, y'all coming out of these stages, y'all want a brand new start. Y'all got a brand new start beginning with money, but y'all hold off for that because y'all too busy trying to accommodate other people and their feelings and their needs. When you need to cut the umbilical cord, I don't know who this is. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn. Whoever this may be, it's time to cut that umbilical cord because you can't have nothing with this person. You can't have nothing. You can't win for losing. I'm just saying, you can't win for losing. So that's my tires. And so uh here we go. My um oh I got this, my Gemini's. My Gemini. So if listen, y'all, y'all, y'all like the video, share the video, share the love, share the lie. So we're gonna go my Gemini's. Let's see what we got going on. My Gemini's, listen to me and listen to me careful. Cause y'all conflicted in y'all mind. And one thing about y'all, y'all can't be patient, impatient when y'all wanna be. Like I said, we're in the to if that's goals for every zodiac sign right now we got a mercury retrograde so this should be bringing awareness to you. damn it it's bringing awareness to you but right now my gemini y'all be careful y'all got people that's trying to y'all got people that y'all don't attract from past lives past life enemies y'all got and they, it's just people to make you work on your your own self like your shadow work but y'all got people like friends and everything else Y'all addiction is people from your past life, enemies, who you think are your friends. Y'all don't know between the friend and the foe, huh? I'm just saying, my Geminis, that's what's going on with y'all. This right here, this has to do with y'all destiny. This has to do with y'all destiny because you got a lot of temptation that's coming at you. You got a lot of, but y'all doing shadow work. Y'all, one thing about my Geminis, y'all starting to, some of y'all starting to see, okay, this is what this is, and I ain't finna go to because y'all. One thing about it, y'all smart as hell. Y'all are very smart. Y'all are y'all gonna speak y'all mind. Y'all gonna say what y'all gotta say. Y'all got somebody that's like y'all got somebody that's like it look like they trying to use y'all for their own success or their own personal greed. And sometimes it may have you trapped in fear, but my Gemini is not for long. Two five two four. If y'all wanna play a number six nine six six. Damn. If y'all want to play numbers, y'all play those numbers. Six nine six six two five two four. My Gemini, y'all. Some y'all got to speak y'all true to y'all other person. I don't know if y'all other person, y'all. Maybe it could be it's whoever this person. It could be a parent. It could be a, a sibling. It could be a child. It could be a mate. This is all part of y'all destiny. This is this is what this is what karma is doing. It's knocking on y'all door. Y'all got material. Listen. Y'all got brand new beginnings. Y'all got that wisdom that's coming in. Utilize it, please. Utilize it. It's, it's all for the best. Utilize it. Because y'all, everybody getting downloads right now. But my Gemini, it's something that y'all ain't seeing. It's something that y'all ain't seeing. Clear. I don't know if it's somebody y'all trying to take a leap of faith towards. But it's something that y'all not seeing. It's like. It's something y'all trying to manifest. And maybe. Let me see. Well, damn. Y'all seeing that? All right, my Gemini's, y'all got a lot to say. My Gemini's, some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer. Some of y'all could deal, be dealing with a cancer. Whoever this is that y'all are dealing with, right? My Gemini's, whoever this person is y'all dealing with, it's something, it's, it's, whatever this is, it's like it's something dealing with money. It's something around finances. Something around finance. Maybe this is maybe a job for some of y'all that y'all feel like y'all could do and y'all feel like okay, this gonna this like y'all really feel good about this. But something came back around from the past. I don't know. Maybe a person came back from the past. Whatever this is, it's something dealing with money. It's like y'all know y'all gotta cut one of them out. Y'all might have somebody y'all ear saying, Don't do this, don't do that. But whatever this is, y'all, it's something y'all got to cut out. Y'all remember, y'all, this is going to last until like around October. No, you ain't missed Leo yet. This is what's going to last until around October, November. Y'all, my, listen, my Gemini's, I'm going to tell y'all again, people from y'all past life, enemies who you t think are your friends, y'all don't attract these back in y'all past life. Some of y'all got somebody in y'all ear, maybe they trying to use y'all to come up on or come up off of. Then y'all got somebody else from the past come back around. You trying to figure out, okay, which one you should choose. If you ask me personally, <laughs> the world is in your hand because some of y'all don't have an awakening. 
Oh yeah, some of y'all don't have awakening. Some of y'all realize like, okay, when they when it was like this, like that, they ain't want to do nothing. But I mean, you feel conflicted in your mind. It is what it is. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. That's my Gemini. So here we go, my Cancers. Let's see. Listen, y'all, this Mercury retrograde, I swear. I be getting tongue-tied. Words don't come out my mouth. This Mercury retrograde. Don't y'all do nothing. No sign, no contrast. Don't start nothing new. Y'all just chill out. If you think about starting a new business, just chill out and put it together. Just put it together. Look, my counsels. After all y'all don't been through, y'all about to come out on top. After all the bullshit, y'all about to come out on top. Some of y'all had to sit back and be, be just not say anything. And listen, my counselors, y'all like workers. I tell y'all all the time, counselors are very intuitive. And y'all, y'all look, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah, that base chakra charged up now. Y'all starting to suck in them feelings and them emotions. Cause see how people play on them. That's how it be. I'm just saying, my counselors, look, I ain't judging nobody. I'm a counselor, Leo. Shoot, I'm a cusper. So, I look, I be like that, too. I had to learn. I, it feel good. Y'all passions on the night of my counselors. Y'all don't have a, y'all don't have a, a, a awakening. Y'all don't have an awakening. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all realizing who you are. My cancer, some of y'all probably never even smiled in a long time. Y'all start to smile again. If you want to play numbers, play 3163 or 539. I'm a wood troll. She up there jumping in that bed. She act like I don't hear her. She going to be like the little monkeys jumping in the damn bed. And go. My counselors, every time y'all seem like y'all getting it together, y'all always have somebody come and disrupt everything. Y'all could be doing good. Y'all trying to get y'all mind together, but it always be somebody come back around that always try to disrupt stuff. Let me tell you something. On every level, it's the biggest devil. Every time when you get when you don't want this, y'all y'all got a lot of spiritual strength because y'all very intuitive. Every time when you don't want and you don't got to another level, trust and believe it's going to be some type of dilemma thrown out there. It's all about how you handle it. It's all about how you handle it, because <laughs> some of y'all about to get running to y'all are so man. Look, that third eye open. Listen, y'all better listen. Y'all got new beginnings, my listen. Y'all got new beginnings. I'm trying to tell y'all got new beginnings here. Y'all got some new beginnings coming in. My own um, councils. My councils, y'all biggest thing is y'all can't let go of family. Family could be screwing y'all over. Y'all cannot let them go. Y'all can't let family go, but y'all got to understand. Y'all know what I say this all the time. Y'all believe in faith. Y'all can't see faith, but y'all know faith is real. So what's real is understood. You can't explain it. Just like you see things out your peripheral vision. But when you turn your head, you can't see it because the eyes on your head only see through pain, emotions. It, it sees through whatever you're going through. That's why that's what they call your peripheral. Your peripheral is really your third eye. That's really what it is. And this shift that's going on, it's like this. Everybody is pushed to hit this shift. Everybody got to get at least to the fourth level of consciousness. It may sound crazy, but no. Education is, is, is real powerful right now for a lot of people. You learn Because a lot of people, if you learn about it, you know about it, you can deal with the situations better. I'm one of them people, so I chose to learn, learn about it. I'm just saying. I'm just a messenger. I got the assignment, though. It's all about learning to let go. Keep it moving. We fighting the spiritual on earth. That's why everybody going at it with each other. Now we got this Mercury retrograde. You got everybody falling out with each other. So like, God, Lee, boy, this, this, the way this world don't shift, it can't nobody hold nothing in it. If you grind me, you grind me. It's coming out. If you good people, you good people. It's coming out. My counsel, something y'all had going on, it came to an ending. And it came to an ending so fast, too. It kind of left you, like, kind of boggled, like, trying to figure out, like, what it is that's really going on. Whoever this person is, they probably tried to come back towards you and apologize. And it's like, they came in like real soon after whatever happened because it came to an end. And it's like, when it came to an end, you probably could breathe because it looked like you couldn't breathe before this person was there, but you could breathe now. And the thing about it is, whoever this person is, when they had you, they did not realize what they had. This could be vice versa, so flip it however it needs. They, they didn't realize what it was. It's a lot of love here. It's a lot of love and emotions and everything else connected in this. Some of y'all thinking about even moving. Some of y'all thinking about moving, going back to school. 
starting something new, but it's like y'all still, hmm, y'all still think about this person. Y'all still think about this person. Whoever it is, y'all still think about this person. Y'all love them. There's nothing wrong with that shit. You human. You you love. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You live. You learn. You love. Listen, y'all got a brand new beginning coming. Some of y'all about to come into Samantha, okay? Y'all got somebody watching y'all. So if y'all got something like that going on, y'all got somebody watching y'all that's trying to... Um, Trying to stop y'all, but don't look like they finna stop y'all to me, little. Y'all got some, y'all finna get ready to start a new business, son. Y'all got to get over that little obstacle, whether it's a family member, somebody you date, or whoever. Y'all got to just get over that little hurdle right there. That's it. Just get over that little hurdle right there. Y'all, shit, y'all good. Y'all good. <laughs> look, look, slime. Look, slime gonna do it. She'll do it later. My counselors, I didn't tell y'all what y'all addiction was. Y'all addictions are friends and network. Okay? So, y'all gotta learn. It's coming back around. Y'all gotta learn. Here we go, my Leos. Where we at? Look, I'm scared. I'm scared to do My Leos, let me tell y'all what our addiction is. Our addiction is a boss, father figure, maybe even the government. Oh shit, Leo's look, we gotta we always got a lot to say, don't we? Oh my Leo's. That what I'm talking about, my Leo's shit. It's about time. <laughs> so my Leo's, ooh. My Leo's, that crown chakra is activated. So right now it's all about the goddamn weight gain. Okay. My Leo's, if you want to play some numbers, here go one 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 seven nine. That's a number. Nine zero seven seven. Those only ones. My Leos, them passions are ignited, meaning that's that that spark don't went off my Leos. So we would don't woke up again. We feeling it. See prosperity begin. We don't lost a lot. Boy, I tell you, these past we these past down not when let me see about 12 years. Woo! It's been a climb, but guess what? Patience and planning is a virtue. Because at the end of the day, one thing about Leo, sometimes we cannot like listen, my Leos, y'all play seven, 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 too. Well, we got all these devils. We got it for shit. Seven, 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 seven. It's a lot of sevens in here. Seven. Everything S is in seven, my Leos. All that. Listen. It's like this. Everything you went through, it was not in vain. Because the only thing that did was make you stronger spiritually. That's all it did. You had to go out to yourself and think about things and get things together. Go. Guess what? It's a lot of people that's the envy of you. And they're going to. Listen. People prey on your demise more than anything. And they act like they fuck with you. And it's like, it be the ones closest to your heart, too. But you know what? We live, we learn, we like to let go. It's like all about playing the weight game right now. My Leo, y'all did y'all shadow work. That's all that count. That's all that count. You did your shadow work. That's the only thing that count. Because listen, my Leo, that intuition on Pete. Ooh, that intuition on Pete. And sometimes, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got to try to take your emotions up out of things and you be conflicted in your mind. Like, damn, do I cuss this person out? Do I let it go? Listen, it's like this. You can't get all the good without getting the bad. I tell anybody that. You can't. No, you haven't missed Scorpio. I'm going down the line. I'm on Leo right now. So you haven't missed Scorpio yet. So here we go, Leos. My Leo, some, some of y'all stuck about a career. Let's see. Oh, my Leo. Damn. I don't know. My Leo, I don't know why you stuck about a career. Because look like this is your son that you own. This is of your own. This is Sam Leo's. My Leo's, my Leo's, my Leo's, my Leo's about to come into something. Some my Leo's about to come into some money. I don't know if it's a job that you're doing. It's, damn. My Leo's. Ooh, whatever this is, my Leo's just like, okay, I don't went through all this motherfucker. I don't went through all this shit. I don't learn my lesson. I don't did what I had to do. And now I'm at the point where I'm quiet, I'm humble, and I'm just sitting back and I'm doing and I'm walking in the God in me and trust and believe I'm so motherfucking powerful. I'm a I'm a force to not be reckoned with. What you best to do is just leave me alone. Cause I'm being you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to remain humble. Karma comes and forward comes in the pair of two now. Y'all know when that that lion come out, it be over. You miss Gemini the <laughs> That lion. <laughs> It's over. And it's something dealing with it. Maybe a job or something. Maybe somebody holding y'all back. It's something with some type of finances or something tied to a business. 
And whoever this person is. Shit. Oh, my Leos, this look good. Because whatever this is, my Leos, right? Whatever this is, my Leo, this is something that some of y'all been thinking about for a long time. And it bring a lot of joy to you. Some of you could be dealing with another Leo or maybe something. Whatever this is, it's going to happen around the summertime. But it's like this. You've been conflicted in your mind because, listen, our heart will put us in the body bag because we love so damn hard. But we took this leap of faith towards this brand new love. If you ask me, because I'm a Leo, my brand new love, I found love on the new goddamn management. Fuck that. Ain't nobody going to love me the way I love myself. I realize that. And then you got that person because some of us, we like to hold on to that toxic person. Some of us dealing with a Capricorn. We got to cut that damn umbilical cord because that motherfucker cheating their ass off, okay? Y'all already know they damn doing that. And then they watching you because they don't want to lose you because one thing about it, you know what I'm saying? You got to leave on your team. Y'all know how that go. Y'all know we keep it real. And it's like you still holding on to that damn devil. Y'all, Some of y'all need to let this person go. Whatever this toxicity is, let it go. It's something you ain't seeing, my Leos. It's something y'all ain't seeing. Whoever this person is that y'all love, some y'all, it could be a Virgo. It could be something dealing with a family. It's like, it's not really no conversation going on, but you're not seeing it for what it is. Because maybe some of y'all feel like, because we family or I feel like this the one for me. I'm just saying. Is somebody hacking my page already, y'all? Let me block Donna Rebecca, whoever she is, because I don't know how that. Look, golly, y'all, I'm blocking her right now. I don't know who she is. How did you like? Look, this hell forgot where I can't block her. She want well, look. It's where I can't even block her. I can't even click on them block her. All right, Rebecca, you're going to learn. This Mercury retrograde get people in trouble. Listen, my Leos, before Rebecca came in here with all her mess, my Leos, it's somebody y'all know. So y'all got a wolf in sheep clothing. Whoever this person is, my Leos, damn. It could be somebody y'all working with or y'all thought y'all had some type of commitment or agreement with one another. But whatever it is, like I say, you got the strength to endure this. Some y'all, it could be a Sagittarius, but whatever this is, it's coming back around. It's coming back around. And it's like, whatever this is, it's, it's like, <laughs> some of y'all got somebody from the past coming back around. And it's and it's like, I don't know what they're trying to conjure up. Let me see. I don't know what it is, but they, I hope it ain't nothing bad because my Leo's woke. God damn, I got the emperor and the damn empress. Some of y'all could have been dealing with an arrogant asshole, too. Somebody that you can't tell they wrong. They so smart till they dumb. But one thing about it, though, my Leos don't step back in their power. This ain't you, this them, because my Leos decided to cut it. After my Leo said, forget that. I'm going to take this leap of faith. Motherfuckers ain't realize what it was when that's what it was. Only y'all know y'all's story. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, y'all. But that's my Leo. So here we go, my Leo. I mean, my Virgos now. Look, did, did I block Rebecca? Whatever her name is. Okay, my Virgos, here I come. Okay, why won't let me block? Okay. Here we go, Virgos. Now, my Virgos, this is y'all thing. This is y'all shadow of addiction. It's a spiritual teacher or some type of person that's in authority. That's y'all um, shadow of addiction. And guess what, my Virgos? That person in authority could actually be you guys. But it's something that got to die in order for something to live. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? We don't be intentionally doing wrong, but at the same time, it comes out that way and it be like that.
<sighs> okay, I think I figured out how to do it. So, my Virgos, it could be somebody in authority that you probably listening to. It's somebody that you probably that you looking up to, or it could be your own ego, because our ego is the biggest thing with us. So let me see my Virgos. Y'all, listen. I don't know who this person is that jumping on, hopping on my page. I, don't, I can't even. You know how normally you could click on their name and block them. It won't even let me do that. This damn Mercury retrograde. Mercury won't let me do it. It won't let me do it. Anytime else you can click on the person page, hey, it's all good. What do I feel? My Virgo, some of y'all been in solitude, huh? Nothing wrong with that. Y'all, y'all had a lot of cards fly. Okay, my Virgo, y'all want to play a number? Y'all can play nine three three two. Play nine three three two. My Virgo, y'all been in the solitude because some of y'all got a lot of ideals. Some of y'all got a lot of ideals and things that y'all trying to bring into um fruition. It's nothing wrong with that. That's actually a good thing. And it look like for some of y'all, some of y'all can be expecting and ain't tell nobody y'all pregnant yet. But I know one y'all 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 don't y'all crown chakra trying to activate. And some of y'all got a celebration coming up but let me see about this right here four three seven seven are other numbers y'all can play one six five one dang my virgo some of y'all think some of y'all are just like moving on from something else maybe some of y'all found a new form of love or maybe somebody that y'all deal with is finding some type of new form of love but it's like it could be financial y'all got financial and material changes coming about and it's all about being aware right some of y'all are aware of a lot of stuff. It's, it's been the waiting game. Intuition come, kicking in. It's been the waiting game. So it's all about what you're going to do with that. So that being said, don't forget. It's, well, God damn. How she? Look, I don't know how she don't look. Y'all just disregard her, please. I don't even know who that is. Listen, y'all. Make sure y'all start following me on my on page Maya's treasure because that's where I'm gonna start doing my live readings from instead of on this page right here because I be saying bad words sometimes. Y'all do too. So make sure y'all follow me on my page. It's in the description. That's where I'm gonna start doing my live readings from. Follow me on YouTube, Maya's Treasure Box. Y'all's little Chambre, whatever her name is. <laughs> she making me sick too, Jasmine. Like, damn. Here we go, Virgo. My Virgo, y'all, some of y'all dealing with the Pisces with your intuition kicking in, right? My Virgo, some of y'all might have a decision in something between family and work. Or some of y'all could be Let me see my Virgos. Oh, shit. My Virgos, some of y'all may be ready to clear a relationship. And go towards something else, something that y'all feel like like a wish come true. Y'all ready to go towards it. Or if y'all did, my Virgos, this something dealing with money and business. It's something with, it's something like round. It's something, whatever this is, is around family. You can have a cancer in the midst. Whatever this is, it's around family. And it's like, it's something that you love. Or it's like your family, you love your family, but you, some of y'all ready to leave leave the situation that y'all in, period. I ain't want to say it like that, but that's just what it is. Some of y'all ready to leave the situation. Maybe some of y'all married, y'all ready to get a divorce. 
Because I got the Jesse's card on the bottom. Because it's like, yeah, you know, some of y'all like, it's, this is something with a marriage. It's a marriage or a committed relationship, a long-term relationship. It could even be something you've been in business with somebody for a long time. Y'all ready to end it. But that's what the, my Virgos, that's what y'all got going on. Because whatever it is, it's going to be just as it's about to become noticeable to this situation. With this um, Mercury retrograde, my um, Virgo, I, I advise everybody to just chill out doing this Mercury retrograde. Because I'm telling you, words once spoken cannot be taken back. Don't say nothing. <laughs> don't say nothing. Don't 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 say nothing that you did that you can't. You know what I'm saying? That when this Mercury go out of retro, you be like, damn, I wish I uh 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 uh. Because I'm telling you not Mercury retrograde, it make you do stuff like that. It do that sometimes. <laughs> I don't know how it is. Listen, my Virg Listen, my Libras. My Libras, where y'all at? Y'all know I love my Libras. My Virgos, one thing about it, y'all, first, main thing about it, y'all need to learn. Some of y'all got to face the man in the mirror. Everything you think other people doing, that's what you need to check about yourself. That's one thing. That's a big karmic curse that come with being a Virgo, the perfectionist. And some of y'all could be perfect, perfectly assholes. Not everybody, so that don't go to everybody. But y'all know what I'm talking about. It's levels. You got asshole Leos too, because I don't like them either. It's three levels to this shit. I don't like the asshole Leos either. Shoot, they get on my damn nerve. They lie too damn much for me. And they make they make all Leos look bad. All of us ain't full of shit like that. No, no, not all of us. It's just them. My Libras. Here we go. My, my Libras ask God a question. They gonna wake up with the answer. My Libras, y'all addiction and y'all shot of addiction. It's with a sexual partner. It's a sexual partner. My Libras. One thing about it, y'all ground chakra is activated. Y'all ground chakra is activated. And right now, you got material and spiritual prosperity on the line. As soon as you start doing things like this, that's when the goddamn devil will jump out the bushes on your ass at any damn time. You hear me? So, with that being said, my Libras, y'all still doing shadow work. Y'all got somebody that y'all dealing with. Y'all got to choose wisely. Choose wisely, please, because whoever this person is y'all dealing with, they ain't right. And whenever you see that, what they got doing shadow work, you know some things. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, could be a little black magic involved in that. Whoever this person is y'all dealing with, or whatever this is, this is y'all destiny. And it's saying to move on. Your heart chakra's ignited. That's true. You don't emotionally withdraw from everybody. Listen, for most of y'all, it's with a partner. Y'all got to let it go. Whoever this person is, y'all got to let it go. Stand your ground, let it go. Stand your ground, let it go. So I don't know what it is. Like I say, y'all got this for the next like October 7th with a sexual party. Y'all better let it go. I'm sexual party. Listen, let it go. Some everything that good ain't going because the stink ain't dead. I'm just telling you, don't be stuck with people because you ain't got no other choice. Cause they don't fuck you up and you can medically. I'm just saying. Here we go, my Libras. Let's see. So my leave, but some of y'all got some news that came in. Some of y'all might have found out about something about another job. Start some y'all dealing with somebody. It could be a Leo Sagittarius or Aries, my Libras. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Whoever this person is that y'all dealing with, y'all stuck about it. Y'all stuck. It's like y'all got some. It's like y'all okay, y'all got some news that don't came in. Somebody don't told y'all something about somebody. I'm just asking. Some of y'all thinking about starting a business or, or either whatever you thought that you could have something with whoever this person is. And some of y'all thinking about going back towards something else. But whatever it is, y'all keep getting stuck, but you're still holding on to that fact. You want to start this. So whatever this is, you want to start, but you can't do it. It's like something holding you back. It's like y'all got something holding y'all back. Some of y'all are very intuitive, very spiritual, very, very spiritual. And you got new beginnings all around y'all, but y'all can't let go of the past. Y'all got can't let go of the past. Some y'all can be dealing with the Sagittarius. 
Because somebody from y'all past coming back around, y'all hear me? This this is a, a Mercury retrograde past. People coming back around. You got options and you got choices now. You're going to get the truth. you seeing the truth. All y'all got to do is ask God a question. Y'all wake up with the answers, my Libras. you seeing the truth. Some of y'all could even be dealing with a Leo. I'm just saying. You're seeing the truth for what it is. Yeah, you're seeing the truth for what it is. Some of y'all maybe listen. Some of y'all may... Some y'all could have been dealing with a Leo, and it may be like however it went, things went wrong. Somebody said something to the other person, and then they want to come back and apologize, but pride is in the way, especially Leo's. Leo's got a lot of pride if it's Leo on Leo. Either way it go. But y'all walked away from this situation like y'all walked away from it, but want to go back and apologize. I don't know if the person's going to take it or not, because I know y'all going to argue. I'm just saying. That's my listen. That right there, that's my that's my Libras. Here we go, Scorpios. My Scorpios. This is what your shadow of addiction is. A partner. I don't know. My Scorpios, y'all know y'all be behind the scene. Y'all know y'all don't trust no damn body. Y'all know how y'all is, my Scorpios. Shit, y'all, y'all get damn energy out of fuck. Oh, my nose itching. Good morning, y'all. Y'all get energy out of having sex. Don't trust nobody. Most of the Scorpio, most Scorpio women, they like to cook and do hair. Can't stand their mama, love their daddy, daddy wasn't around, vice versa for the men. Scorpio men do not trust women, you hear me? They don't trust women, because they rolled up around horse ass women. They don't trust women. Mm -mm, they don't trust women, no fur they can damn see them. But Scorpio, what y'all do is y'all tell on y'all self when y'all do stuff. When y'all do something, know what y'all do? Y'all accuse y'all, mate. It be awkward. My Scorpio, that third eye is open. You want to play numbers? Three, four, six, six. Three, four, six, six. Y'all want to play a number? A lot of y'all starting to get recognition, and y'all starting to, y'all starting to get y'all balance back. And a lot of stuff that y'all went through, y'all starting to move on from it now, which is good. That third eye is opening up. I'm trying to tell you, it's opening. Y'all got it. Y'all crown chakra activated too. My Scorpio, some of y'all had to just pretty much disconnect from the world so y'all can get a brand new beginning, right? Because I see a lot of y'all don't really shut a lot of people off, even uh, I'm down to a family. That's just what it is. That's what it is. 4240 is another name that y'all could play. But y'all, y'all crown chakras activated. Some, like, this is something that's going to determine the rest of y'all destiny, y'all fate. Y'all know that. Y'all had, y'all, y'all biggest thing, y'all have to, sometimes y'all have to learn how to withdraw from situations emotionally. Because somebody, you know. Cause sometimes your that sound like twin knocking. Sometimes your emotions get the best of you. But listen, y'all got a lot of hope though. That's all that count. I'm just saying, that's all that count. <laughs> I told you I know that now. So let's see, my Scorpios. Somebody pardon. Look, y'all intuition on Pete. I don't know if y'all got a Pisces, J or B could be the initials. Somebody y'all don't have to walk away from. So we finna see. Twin, you look nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. You, you know, Murphy don't took the microwave out. Uh, Murphy took my microwave out, y'all. Y'all ain't the only one. My Scorpios. Y'all getting it. Whoever this is, y'all dealing with. Y'all, some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra. But y'all getting the truth about some situation. Y'all, y'all getting the truth. The truth comes to y'all. Maybe y'all, some of y'all want to do a business, a business or have a business with somebody. But y'all ready to walk away from somebody. Like y'all ain't saying that you it's y'all intuition on when I was so deep. F R P H could be the initial. Whoever this person is that y'all dealing with, y'all intuition on when I was so deep. And y'all thinking about maybe working with this person. It's just it's coming to this situation, right? Let me see. Well, it's, it's like y'all further with a lot of ideas. Y'all holding on to the fact. But whatever this other situation is, y'all like, I don't know. Like, son, like, son can't be right. Like, son ain't right. Like, I, I don't know. And it's like y'all maybe had to walk away from a situation that y'all didn't want to walk away from. Because maybe sometimes from time to time you think about that person. But you also know that that's something that y'all had to cut out. Y'all find out some news. That some news came in. Y'all found out about. Yeah, y'all found out that news. What had happened? Mm-hmm. See? That's what had happened. So, that's my Scorpios. Here we go, my Sagittarius. Here we go. Let's see. 
He done walked out the door, Natalie. He got his cap on. <laughs> his boots. <laughs> Come here talking trash. <laughs> oh, let me see. If you can see the door. He can walk back in the door. I think I'm blocking the door. I think I'm blocking it. <laughs> no, Scorpio. I ain't forget it, Jasmine. I told the Scorpio edition is partner. Your partner. See that? Oh, shit. Jasmine don't make me drop these cards. I tell you what. The ones that don't flip though, my, um, <laughs> my Sagittarius, y'all got triumph. I'm going to take all of them that feel because hell, I really feel like it. Hell, they feel like that. My Sagittarius. Y'all doing a lot of shadow work, too. Y'all doing a lot of shadow work. Y'all want to play a number, play 7939. Y'all got a lot. Y'all doing a lot of shadow work, which that is good. And y'all, you know what I'm saying? You got material prosperity coming. A lot of y'all done went through a lot. You know what I mean? Y'all went through a lot. And some of y'all start to move on. And it's like you, you realize and you start to love yourself. That's a good thing. Because that's the hardest part is loving yourself. Because once you love your damn self, can't nobody else have love you. Have ass love you. No goddamn more. Trust and believe me. I know from personal experience. And y'all chakras are at Well, your base chakra activated. So you're grounded right now. Some of y'all just need to get away from all the bullshit until y'all can clear y'all mind. Because one thing about y'all Sagittarius, y'all see the wrong in the wrong people. People y'all think doing y'all wrong ain't doing y'all wrong. The people that y'all think got y'all back, that's what really fucking y'all over. But y'all see the wrong in the wrong people, then when y'all react, you know what I mean? People take y'all the wrong way. Y'all free spirit, Sagittarius. Y'all know how that go. Patience and planning. That's, that's what y'all move is for next. Patience and planning. It's somebody y'all dealing with y'all need to cut out. Sagittarius, your addiction is somebody in your workplace or a co-worker. Keep in mind when you're dealing with astrology, just because it say workplace or a co-worker, the workplace can be um, workplace can be metaphor for home, school, it, and a co-worker could be um, metaphor for a partner, relationship. Just keep in mind, astrology, you always got to keep an open mind. Some of y'all dealing with somebody that's very, oh, shit. My Sagittarius, listen, I know it's just a lot of y'all got a message. Listen, some of y'all are dealing with a person, right? There you go, Natalie. Look at them boots. <laughs> <laughs> some of y'all dealing with my Sagittarius. Y'all intuition is going off right. Y'all can have somebody who initially been in with letter P, F, R, letter H, J, or B. Some of y'all can be dealing with an Aries, a Pisces. Whoever this person is y'all dealing with, it's like y'all seeing, seeing things for what it is, right? Let me see. Whoever this person is, y'all, some of y'all dealing with an arrogant asshole, or either it could be y'all. If it is with a boss, like y'all got y'all working for somebody that's arrogant as hell and they get on y'all last goddamn nerves and y'all can't take. It. I'm just saying, somebody y'all trying to work something not with, and it's like y'all all it's always an argument when y'all get together. And there's something around money or some type of some type of um thing that's gonna make things grow and prosper. I'm just saying. So with that being said, my um Sagittarius. Some of y'all is with something with a family situation. Some of y'all had to walk away from it. And it's like maybe you're thinking about it like Maybe it could have worked, but then when you think about it, like, I don't know. I don't know. Because I think some of y'all look, Sagittarius, y'all showing up off rip and y'all reading. So it's something from the past coming back around. Do y'all want, maybe somebody from the past that y'all want to apologize to, or maybe they want to apologize to y'all, but it's something from the past. So maybe y'all realizing that. Oh, damn, y'all see that? So my Sagittarius, it could be somebody. From your past or somebody in your present that maybe some of y'all are in a a committed relationship, married to this person, but it's like y'all heartbroken for one. I don't think wh whoever or whatever the situation y'all in, it's like y'all ready to clear it. Y'all trying to figure out, some of y'all may be trying to figure out a way out. If it ain't y'all, it might be y'all pardon. This ain't for y'all to do. Don't forget, this is other collectors. So don't be like, that ain't nothing to do. I'm just saying. Somebody, y'all could be dealing with a counselor. 
Leo, y'all got some news on came in. Y'all trying to just grab you, like wrap your mind around this shit and and get get the hell on and clear it. I'm just saying, my Sagittarius, that's what this Mercury retrograde doing. It's bringing the situation back around that you didn't deal with properly. Can you remember last year? Cause they always fall around the same time. Don't do nothing. Don't listen. Don't pay no trust. Don't do nothing. Everything gonna go wrong until after the second of June. That's my sad. So here we go, my Capricorn. My Capricorn, y'all addiction is your children. Your children. And it is so funny because my child daddy is a Capricorn. She asked me today, do I think he going to ever talk to her? She never did nothing to him because he don't like me. They ain't got nothing to do with her. Like, shoot, we could put all the differences aside. You mean this man could be in the same room. You wouldn't even know we got a child together because that's how much I... Yeah, come on. Y'all know me. Y'all already know how that go. Like, for real. It's like, damn, like, put your differences aside for a second. But if he choose not to, that's cool. That's cool, too, because guess what I've been doing? And she, she listen, her mama going to make sure she's scrape. Her god daddy going to make sure she's great too. But, damn, at the end of the day, that's sad. Like, that's a sad, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a hard apple to bite for any mama, the child, to ask him that. And it's like, damn, that motherfucker mad at me. He do Anyways, Capricorns, your solar plexus chakra is activated, right? And you got a lot of wisdom and patience coming in. Y'all want to play numbers because y'all be good at numbers. Three, five, nine, five. That'll be a good number to play. But it's like you will. You got a lot of wisdom and knowledge. But y'all could be so traditional sometimes to the fact that, no, you got to break out of that. Some of y'all, it's like, you okay, you getting grounded. You you don't, you sacrifice a lot, but you're seeing the truth for what things is. You're seeing everything for what it is now. That's a good thing. You got a lot of temptations coming at you. You got the devil. A lot of y'all got a lot of shots on. Um, so y'all have a lot of um shadow work to do. A lot of y'all got a lot of shadow work to do. If y'all seeing those red cartons, Capricorns, that's somebody from the other side trying to communicate with you because you're a light worker. You got nothing but positive movement forward. Some of y'all don't did y'all shadow work. And that's a good thing. If y'all don't went through a heartache and loss and try y'all don't did y'all shadow work, that's a good thing. My own um, Capricorn, so that being said, let me see. Just one thing about it. Let's see, my Capricorns. You next, Aquarius. <laughs> Here we go, Cap. Let's see what we got going on. My Capricorn, something don't came to an ending, right? Maybe some of y'all decided to go somewhere else and start something brand new. But something don't came to an ending and now y'all got, or it's something. Y'all got a brand new start for something and it's like, y'all got to make, damn, y'all got to make a choice. But it's something that y'all not seeing clearly. It's something y'all not seeing clearly. I don't know if it's a Pisces. Something y'all not seeing clearly and I believe y'all kind of know that y'all not seeing it clearly. Maybe somebody from the past came back around. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo. Scorpio, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius. It's like this. Somebody, y'all ain't seeing somebody's really, y'all got to make a choice. And y'all, I think the choice y'all choosing may, I'm just saying like this. It look like the person that y'all choosing to keep is the person that always break your heart. This person look like they in and out, whoever this is. It don't came to an end so many times. I don't know if it's a Scorpio. It don't came to an end so many times. And you try, like, brand new again. You try to start all over again. I don't know if some of y'all have a child by this person. But it's like... Somebody may even came in. Maybe it's something with a family situation. Somebody may even came in and told y'all, like, some of y'all married. Somebody may even came in and told y'all something about y'all wife or told y'all something about y'all husband. I don't know. But y'all look at the situation clearly for what it is. Something about children. That's y'all addiction. So just keep in mind. I don't mean it got to necessarily be your kids. It could be maybe somebody that's just childish as hell. You got to think um, astrology. It's, it speaks in metaphors. So here we go, Aquarius. My Aquarius, y'all shadow of addiction and this Mercury retrograde is your ex or your mother and siblings. That's what y'all got to deal with. That's y'all shadow of addiction. Dang. So let's see. My query is 7827, if you want to play a number. 
Some of y'all don't have to really withdraw from the world emotionally. Like, y'all really had to withdraw from the world. Because some of y'all feel like y'all don't been through so much. 8189 is the number. Also, y'all crown chakras are activated. And it's like, when y'all look up and see that bright star in the sky, y'all got a spiritual union coming around, right? But y'all may overlook it because some of y'all can still be trapped in fear because of things that don't happen before in the past. But you got to stand your ground. Because you finna solidify this foundation that you're trying to get. You woke. You aware. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Because a lot of y'all, y'all, y'all third eye open. Whatever this is that y'all got going on, my um, Aquarius, it's like, you trying to solidify a foundation, but you got to make the right choice. You got new beginnings coming. You just got to make the right choice. Because y'all got a spiritual union with somebody, but y'all got to choose the right one. It's coming back around. Mercury retrograde bring things back around. You got to make the right choice. So, let's see what the tarot has to say for you. My Aquarius. <laughs> he been at work, Natalie. <laughs> he gonna cuss me out. <laughs> My Aquarius, y'all are heartbroken over somebody. Somebody broke y'all heart. Or y'all mourning or thinking about somebody in front of y'all past. Y'all heartbroken or either y'all broke somebody else's shit. Okay. Or y'all broke somebody else's heart. Let's see. Since they want to flip out my hand being grown. Okay, my Aquarius. Some y'all... Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody. Listen, it could be like this. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that maybe you have a child by. Or it flip. Keep in mind, flip it. Gemini was the third one. Eating. When I stop it, it's going to go back over. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody like, if y'all don't have a child by this, y'all can have a child by this person. Either this person want to come back and apologize to y'all or y'all want to go back and unapologize to this person. I don't think there's no communication going on right now between the two of y'all. Because it looked like, basically, like, the situation was a scene for what the situation should have been. Somebody was kind of in and out all the time. In and out, in and out, in and out. And then they want to play the goddamn victim like they don't know what the hell is going on. But y'all know it's all good. And then when you say something to them, they want to argue. And it's at the point where, okay, I'm done arguing. I'm done arguing. This is coming from the higher up. So this is divine timing right here. This is something y'all supposed to do doing shadow work. Whatever y'all prayed and asked for, it was trying to come to y'all. And y'all have not seen it. Something going on legally, maybe legally with y'all, or just some type of justification is about to come. Whatever it may be, because y'all stuck. Some of y'all in the situation that y'all stuck, y'all don't know if y'all want to be there or not. Or this can be your person. I'm just saying, vice versa, flip it however you need to go. Listen, some of y'all, some of y'all really want to go towards what y'all really want, or either the person like I don't want to be here. I'm trying to get somewhere else. I'm just saying, that's what the cards say, and it could be something dealing with maybe I don't. Some of y'all don't have an awakening. Some of y'all don't woke up, and y'all know y'all got to make make a choice. Some of y'all have already made y'all choice, or your person, vice versa, however may go. You got to make a choice, my Aquarius. I'm just saying, it says. Your ex or your mother and siblings. Well, I wrote down your mother shit, but I don't know if I wrote down. <laughs> I don't know if I wrote down. I don't think it said shit, but I listen. It's all right. Leave me alone, y'all. My Pisces. Last but not least, my Pisces. My Pisces. My Pisces. My Pisces. Y'all about to go through it with your siblings and your neighbors. That's y'all addiction. Your siblings and your neighbors. Y'all make sure y'all share the video. Share the love. Share the lie. Your siblings and your neighbors, my Pisces. This is what this is what y'all got going on. Oh shit. My Pisces, y'all passions are ignited. 1137, my Pisces, if y'all gonna pay that number, 1137. Y'all seeing the truth for what it is, right? You seeing the truth for what it is. Y'all feel like y'all don't do, y'all done been sacrificing long enough and y'all tired. Some of y'all. And y'all feel like every time y'all get the way y'all want to go, it's always something else. Y'all got all these obstacles and everything else thrown in front of you. God damn. 7755, y'all. Y'all want to play a number? 7755. Then I got 777. I'm just saying y'all like to play a number. Just play with it. Y'all y'all see the, this. Y'all already see it for what it is. One thing about Pisces, that's God facing man on earth. So ain't nothing but positive movement for it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Your victory is coming, but it's all about y'all seeing the truth. 
Y'all seen the truth. Y'all already know what it is. Something that y'all doing and y'all dealing with that y'all tired of going through it. But it's like, y'all either letting somebody deceive y'all or y'all don't want to let nobody go. And you need to let this person go because this, this it all depends on your destiny, your fate. Like, what you going to do? Ain't you tired of being in the same spot? I know I do. I'm just saying. That's my Pisces. So here we go. Here goes Tarot now. Y'all addictions is shot of addiction. Siblings and neighbors. Resolve it, fix it, recreate it. Son got to die, so son got to live. Sometimes you got to let people go. I'm just saying. It be like that. My Pisces, some of y'all just dealing with family and money and material things. You be dealing with family and a job. Maybe some of y'all are something with y'all job. You know what I'm saying? My Pisces, I'm just saying. This is what the card says. I'm shoot the messenger. Y'all are so conflicted. And then y'all mind. Yeah, y'all, y'all, somebody y'all dealing with, y'all know who it is. It's like they the devil in disguise, and y'all know that, and y'all, damn. Y'all woke, y'all born woke, Pisces. Pisces is God facing man on earth. Whoever this person is, it's like, this person can be close to your heart, and you don't want to do it. Look, Pisces, y'all showing up, and y'all reading. Y'all tired. Y'all are really tired because whoever this person, y'all tired because y'all feel like y'all can have more if y'all let this person go. Or maybe this is how your person may be feeling. And it's like you so conflicted when it comes down. It's it's a lot of confliction. Because some of y'all can be dealing with somebody y'all don't know if they cheating on y'all, but y'all thinking things working out because y'all got y'all working together. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, uh-uh. Yep. Some of y'all just could... Some of y'all just like... Y'all got somebody coming back around to say something. They got something to say. They got to speak their mind, whether if it's y'all or if it's your person. They got to speak their mind. And whoever this is, it's probably a person that you thought. This probably a person that you probably thought highly or felt highly of. And it's like maybe it's something that you thought you had the perfect. Some of y'all could be, it could be a family situation that you thought everything was perfect and good. And not like, God damn, here we go again. It could be a Leo y'all dealing with. But whoever it is, it's like y'all holding. Maybe a Leo giving you inspiration. Or y'all got the energy, the inspiration, and the strength to endure whatever you've gone through. That's what y'all do have. And and at the same time, y'all are done. Like, y'all really tired of going through the shit. Y'all planning on moving on, but you haven't moved on yet. Y'all plan on taking that leap of faith? Go ahead and do that. So I'm just saying, that's my Pisces. So if you want to read it, hit me up, inbox me. Personal readings are available. To everybody that joined in, share the video, share the little, share the like. I'm about to stop it, and so it'll keep um, rotating. Don't forget to follow me on my new page, Maya's Treasure Box.